Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the Tangle Yips from CZT Angie Gittles. I was, I don't know what I was looking for. I wasn't finding the inspiration that I wanted yet. I, I've mentioned before when I'm looking for what to do, what to do. And uh, I look for something that jumps out and... Uh, and this one, well, actually, there's two from Angie. I'm going. Okay, I have, I have my, my next one. It, it won't be tomorrow, but it'll be, it'll be soon. Um, she does such wonderful work. Uh, it's, it, you know, nice, simple, fun, um, and this uh, epitomizes it. It's so great. Okay, we're gonna start with a line. You can do it however you wish. And then an orb on top of it. And of course, you can do whatever size orb up to you. Then, I love this, another line. And then another orb. And then another line. And another orb. And you just have as much fun as you want to have with this. So, um... Well, and because I'm not, well, no, 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 I was going to say, and because I'm not necessarily as creative as others, but, uh, cause I was like, oh, let me just do what I did on, on my version of the step out. Now, let me see if I can do something different. Um, and I mean that, that's the basic thing. Do take a look at the for more inspiration link. And, uh, so you can see, uh, Angie's step out and her, oh, a cute little sample, but so they don't have to be straight. That's why I just said a line. They can be whatever you want. And in fact, in one of, of Angie's, she did a little heart instead of, uh, you know, doing an orb. And you can have it be whatever you want. Then you can also have it grow. Why am I doing this upside down? I don't know, because I feel the need. I, I also feel the need to make it symmetrical or sort sort of kind of. I mean, this, I mean, it's a great organic tangle because it, I, I look at organic as ones that grow off of themselves, you know, so like this, where it just continues to grow and you take it wherever you want. And then guess what? You can have it do like this. <laughs> and again, It's completely up to you. And that is what is so fun. It epitomizes, this does, uh, Zentangle. Simple steps, two of the five elemental strokes. Or or it could be, you know, you could actually add the others if you wanted to call that an S in a C shape. Um, I just love it. So much fun. And then, um, I mean, and they don't have to come one direction. They could come other directions. Honestly, I'm going to say you could probably fill these in if you wanted to. And I'm just doing a little spat. Um, okay, I'm going to look at the ones that I don't that I don't care for, like this one. And do like that. We'll just fill it in and add a little shine to it. Because you can do whatever you want. You know, and then with that, and I don't know why this just popped into my head. Well, maybe because it's sometimes when the tangles are simple, I think, oh, well, this, you know, everybody wants to call it doodling. And um, it might be in one of Rick and, Maria, Rick and Maria's books where they explain, and because we've heard it before uh, from them, uh, you know, like in training and stuff. And there, there is a difference between uh, doodling and tangling. In that um, tangling, zentangle, is deliberate strokes. Like these. I, I deliberately drew a, a line and then I deliberately drew an orb on top. And there's, you know, some, like, structure, I guess, to it. it or an, um, a deliberateness to it. Where doodling is usually, you know, it's a scribble. And, and I'm going to go out on a limb and say, you know, some of this can mimic that because it's like, well, if I could just turn off my brain a little bit and then, and have it go wherever. So 
Um, it's just, it's not mindless. It's, it is mindful. Um, I would call it mindful doodling if I had to, you know, to, to kind of bridge that gap from people that, that don't know and don't understand, which is all totally fine. But I mean, really, how fun is that? Just to go wherever you want to go, wherever the pen wants to take you. And then let's do a little shading in the ones that I didn't fill in. And, you know, you could do this. I call it a swoosh mark because that's what I call it. Um, a little C shape on the inside. Honestly, you don't have to do this unless you want to. Because it looks, it looks fine with just the, uh, just the graphite by itself. I know. And so why am I doing this? Because I did it to one to show and then <laughs> otherwise maybe I would have left it. You know, and something you can do too, and I've mentioned it probably on the last couple, it seems like, because as you're going over the seat, you can, like this, you can kind of bring it to almost an orb inside the orb and see the neat effect that that creates. So just play with it and have fun. If, uh, if shading is something that perplexes you, um, uh, be encouraged by me because uh, as I've said before, I am, you know, no art skill, no art background. Let's say that, let's say that because my only art skill has come from, well, whatever, whatever I was given by God and, uh, <laughs> and mom, <laughs> cause she is an artist and, um, but you know, no training. I didn't like art in, in school or anything like that. It, it, this is really all Zentangle and it's just so much fun. And that is why I am so enthusiastic about it and why I get so thrilled when things turn out great. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's do one last little little thing here, which is you could. And I'm just wiping off the. Um, you know what's left on my tortian. And that's just creating a bit of a. Drop shadow, so to speak, and then you know and if you do that, make sure you turn. The the tortian because sometimes you know. It's, it's, because it's all around, right? Look at what that did. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this. I love this. Angie, if you ever watch this, I love this. It is so cool. And uh, it's just, it's really nice to have things like this that you can, that you could just pull out of your hat at any moment and and have it something that that looks really really cool all right well thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this would love it if you clicked on the like button and if you liked it enough to see more would love to have you be a subscriber to the channel if you enjoy my goofy style maybe you want to come and tangle with me online and uh a bunch of my crazy tangle attic friends we <laughs> tangle on Thursdays. I have free sessions on Thursdays. Uh, it's 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. My time here in Michigan. If you follow me, um, if you uh, go into that description section, uh, first off, you'll see the links for uh, the step outs. Then below that is my link tree. There you will find ways to connect with me. Uh, there are several places um, where you can find where, where I post classes. Um, Facebook number one. And then if you are on Facebook and you want to join, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> a greater conversation, um, and fun with Zentangle, uh, we do have a Tangle Addicts community group. It's a private group. There are four questions that you must answer in order to gain entry, just to let you know. And, uh, like I said, and we have, we have a lot of fun. So, um, yeah, come, come join us online, join us on Facebook, whichever. I do have my other social media links. I just, I don't spend a lot of time on those, unfortunately, yet. Um, but yeah, so you should see all that information there. I also teach on Tuesdays. One of those Tuesdays, the third of the month, uh, the third Tuesday of the month is uh, is a free class also. But the other ones have a fee or um, the, like the first Tuesday is a club members exclusive uh, event and um, I have like a subscription type of uh, club. So that information is all in the link tree. Investigate as your heart desires and I think that's it. So with that, did I say click like? Yes, I did. I did. I said that first. I usually do that first. Sometimes I shake it up and then I get myself confused. 
<laughs> I think I did that yesterday. It's carrying it over to t it's carrying over to today. All right. So with that, thank you again so much for watching, and I wish you happy tangling. <laughs>